friend indeed. Yes, I agree. Do you all agree? Yes. yes. But an ounce of blood is worth more than a pound of friendship. Let me repeat. An ounce of blood is worth more than a pound of friendship. Master of ceremony, fellow youth leaders, guests, parents, Toastmasters. Good evening to all. Good evening. Friendship is a combination of trust, loyalty, and understanding. Friendship is a comfy situation like home. You get home, kick off your shoes, relax, sigh, and say, ha, ah, home. The basis of being friend is to meet the needs of other person. One must be a friend to have one. When I moved to Hyderabad, the whole school was new to me. But I never gave a damn about the people over there. I thought, being from Saudi Arabia, these people will approach me. But after a while, I realized that nobody has come to me and they're not even bothered to know who I am. But after a while, I made them realize that I was one amongst them and then I became the part of the school family. I had a friend named Himanshu. He was the only friend who gave me a lot of importance in his life. Even I cared a lot for him. After a while, I got some more friends. But I don't know how. Gradually, I started ignoring Himanshu. One day, he came to me and said, Hey Nick, you've got a lot of friends, haven't you? Yes, buddy. They have become my close friends. My friend, tell me, did I commit any mistake? No. But why are you saying this? I never blame you for anything. Then why, brother? Why have you started ignoring me? I was shocked. I felt ashamed of myself. I turned back and stood quietly, having a feeling of guilt in me. I understood that there is pain with loss of friendship. And then, one fine day, I went to him and told him, Buddy, I do care for you. And from from that time, he is my best friend till today. School life went on and Shoaib was one of the newly friend added. He spent lots and lots of hours talking to friends on phone and spent a lot of time with them. His, his friend circle was more interested in him because he was from a wealthy family who spent a lot of money on his friends. Though he was cautioned by his parents and well-wishers, he ignored me. Slowly, I, I saw that his friend circle was going beyond the school limits and then I heard that he developed a bad habit of smoking. He was struggling at the point of no return. He even started failing in his examinations. All along these events, I never realized that my parents are worried about me in the same way and they don't want me to come under the influence of Shoei. So friends, from this I have learned that everything in this, in this world has its own limits. Even friendship should have. Do you agree with me? Yes. 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 My school life. In my school life, my results were satisfactory but not excellent. And in one of my unit test examinations, I scored less in mathematics. So I did not tell this about to my parents because I thought if I tell this to them, they will cut me off from my, from my friends. And the only person I believed was my, my, was my friend who then. <clears throat> I, I kept the papers with him, telling him not to show it to anyone else. But after a while, I realized that I became a laughing stock for my whole friend circle when I came to know that Uday disclosed this to them. I realized that I was a fool. And after that, I did not believe any friend of mine in my personal matters. That night, I was on my bed, crying. Then I saw my, my mother and my sister coming in my room. They inquired, but I was scared to face them as I never told them anything about my personal life. Then my sister asked, Nikhil, please tell me what has happened. I know many of you teenagers face problems at this age. 
I just hugged my sister and kept on crying. Then she told me to calm down and I told her what happened. Then my mother told me, now do you understand the importance of having trust in your family rather than in your friends? I just nodded my head saying yes. At times what happens is, we consider friends more important than family. But it is our family which lasts long in our life. Tell me friends, who can love us more selflessly than our own mother and father who sacrificed so much to raise us this big? So from all these experiences, I have learned that the better we understand our parents and siblings, the better we understand ourselves. So friends, to wrap up, I would like to say that be a friend, don't ignore them, have friends, but keep in mind, our family ounce of blood is worth is more worth than pound of friendship. Thank you, Odi Master.